the one I'm of these. Doing, I'm doing a talk. Uh, at, I think it's utility warehouse for some of their staff and employees, and um, I'm telling a story, and it's a del- it's a delicate story. You know, I'm telling a story about you know. People think that, you know, they go into work, oh, my boss hates me and it's, it's, it's so bad. And I'm telling a story about my t- a time at Leeds when, you know, you think that, you know, it's the worst thing at work. Just just imagine this. And I tell the story of how, and I'll, I'll, I'll brief over it quickly. I tell the story of how uh, when I was at Leeds um, and it was changed at the club, they needed to, to move players on, get rid of players, start selling some attributes. And some of them players, one of them get players, higher earners off the wage bill. They couldn't get me off the wage bill. And I say allegedly because there's some legal wrangles in the story. I always say allegedly. And um, so their idea was to get me off the wage bill. They couldn't just say go, leave. Um, so their plan was one day when we're having pre-match meal, uh, we're sitting there, pre-match meals like on a Friday before the, the dinner, you have your pastas, your chickens and all that sort of stuff. So... Their plan was when I'm doing that, when I have a bit of pasta, they'd have some guy sprinkle the parmesan cheese like, over your my pasta. But over my parmesan cheese, it wouldn't be parmesan cheese, it'd be cocaine. I'd eat this pasta. I'd then uh, have this in my system. I'd be drug tested on the Monday, <clears throat> failed a drug test um, for having uh, class A drugs in my system. And then that way, breached my contract, then they've got me off the wage bill. So whatever you do, you know, <clears throat> I found out about this story um, and the hardest thing was having to go in and see these, these, the CEOs and new directors who wanted to do this to me and act like nothing happened. So they, they hired someone to do this? Hired someone to do this, but it only come out because um, they fell out this person, this person went to the papers. So I read it like everyone else on a Sunday morning and I had to go in Monday morning and all this sort of stuff. So whatever someone throws at you, like, don't let them take you off your plan on what you wanted far easier for me to kind of forget this and then you know my plan of my football career going out of the way so I told this story thinking nothing of it everyone's like oh you hear the room like oh my god oh my god so once the talk's finished we're doing like you know networking speaking and a woman come up to me and said oh, Michael I just um, just want to say it's like I've finished work I'm having a terrible time at work my boss I think has got in for me like it's just horrible, the last few weeks horrible. I wasn't gonna to come tonight. But just hearing that story then, like is I'm so glad I did. It's given me the strength, you know what? I ain't gonna let him stop me from what I wanna do. I'm so grateful. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I'm so grateful, like you like it was just worth it just to hear that 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 five minute story. And then she went, Thank you, and then when I was like, Wow, well, that's that if it just like my I always say if if, if my talks just touch one person then it's 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 job done and just to hear her say like how it's given her the strength to go into work and not let him because she was like thinking of quitting not let him make her quit and throw off what she wanted to do because she loves what she was doing but he just make wants to make her quit then that for me was rewarding